Okay, so I have my uh, debugger VM uh, attached to my actual target VM in order to debug it. Um, I have started the command prompt as a regular user. We can see this command prompt is running with the IE user user. And I can confirm it with the who am I command. So now what I can do is I can wreck the debugger and look for the actual information for the cnd.exe process. And so we can see it actually returned the eProcess uh, pointer, which ends with 0080 in my case. And so what we can do is we can just take that address and print it as an eProcess. And in this case, we are only interested in the token pointer. So now what we can do is we can click on token and it's going to actually print its value. So we can see it all the objects, uh, the ref counts and the object pointer in our case ends with the 60, 64. So I'm just going to save that into a text file. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to do the same for the system process. So we get the eProcess address. And again, we can print the actual token value for the particular eProcess associated with the system process. So what we basically have is we we know this is the token associated with the CND and we want this pointer to be replaced by this pointer basically. And the eProcess for cnd.exe is actually this address. So what we want is we want to modify at this address plus three farm eight. So we do edit keyword. And what we want to write is we want to write the token for the system process. And so now if we go back to uh, printing the actual token for our cmd.exe, we can see it matches the one associated with the system process. There are different tokens. Okay, so now what we can do is we can just hit go to continue execution. And we can go back to our target VM and tap and type who am I? Nice. So now we can see we are anti authority system. And interestingly, Process Explorer doesn't detect it. I think it's because it assumes it hasn't changed. So let's try to restart it. Right, so it's unable to open the token because it's having higher privileges. So we're gonna restart it with uh, admin privileges. And as you can see, now Process Explorer detects it as being system. Thank you for watching.